Okay, now the last thing, hopefully the last thing for the day, for the first week, is to go over this assignment, which includes how to write a discussion summary and how to participate actively in the discussion, right? And this will not take that long for me to go over because I'm going to again ask you to go over this carefully and try to understand everything I mentioned over here, right? So the first part I'm actually talking about um, what this summary is about. It's about a paper that you read over Blackboard and those papers are already made available through Blackboard and the date of the discussion is given uh, in the Blackboard and the syllabus as well. Um, so when you read it, you are reading it for two purposes. One, to write the summary. And the summary you write is actually essentially for you to get a good grasp of the contents of the papers so that you can effectively take part in the discussion. So the format of the um, summary is going to be like this, right? So, you know, um, mention your full name, right? And add a meaningful title for it, right? And write in good English, you know, standard written scientifically minded English and um, the length of the summary it's short I'm expecting nothing more than 200 words if you go over I am not going to penalize uh, for it um, I will not penalize even if you go over a page but probably you are writing too much in that case right so but just give me a 200 word um, short gist of the game um, and make sure to include basic background, the key objectives that they focus in that particular research, and the most important findings, the, the highlights they make, right, um, and the conclusions they reach in that particular uh, research article. So, now, students keep asking, how do I read a particular article, Professor? Well, um, well, particularly sometimes certain articles could be harder to understand, particularly if it involves um, high-level mathematics. Um, simply reading the abstract, the entire introduction, um, and the discussion section, you know, if you can understand those, which actually doesn't contain mathematics, right, um, should be good enough for you to understand uh, the gist of the paper that should be good enough to prepare for the discussion that should be good enough um, to um, write the the summary right um, for the discussion part actually you know um, reading the methods and the reading the results are important right but if it is hard don't try to waste your time over it try to read once twice if you don't um, get whatever you can get out of it and continue reading on to the discussions. The way papers are written, just by reading abstract intro discussion plus reading the tables and the figures gives you um, a good idea about the paper's content, right? Again, for the discussion, read the entire paper, but if it, if the methods and the results part are too hard, right, um, it's okay not to worry too much about it, but do not just simply skip it. The papers I have picked for this semester are extremely easy and they have very little to no mathematics in them, right? Now, if there's a mathematic part, I'm going to go over it and explain that to you. It's, it's The math is something really fun. I use a lot of mathematics, a lot of statistics um, in my research, right? And a lot of computer-based applications for my research. And I myself am a programmer. so. I'm telling you, it's fun. Math is fun. It's, it's, I don't know where the fear is coming from, but, but just we, we will try to resolve this fear down the road. If you are taking the lab with me, I will actually have more opportunity to, you know, like help you come over your fear of mathematics. But um, if, even if not, like, you know, like I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's math is not as hard as you think it is. Um. And continuing on, the other part is actually, you know, uh, with part of the summary is, you know, this 200-word uh, uh, recap of the material, right? The other part is actually the summary also contains a critique, right? A critique about the article. What do you think about this particular article? What's your scientific perspective about that particular article? Can you think about improving it? Um, how would you do it any better after reading it, right? If you were to do the same research, if you were to write the same paper, how would you do it better, right? Um, 
what do you, what do you appreciate about the article? What are the strengths of that particular article? Um, when it comes to inferences and conclusions, from a, as a science student, would you agree with those? Would you disagree with those? Do you see any weaknesses in the article? Now remember, as scientists, right? I am a scientist. You are science students, and I'm training you to become a scientist. Critic, critique should come from a scientific perspective, not your personal vision, right? Not your personal thoughts, right? It should be scientifically informed, objective thoughts, right? Opinions, right? So, so in sciences, when you see opinion, it's not what, you know, a layman would think, right? Or it's not what the general public uh, assumes about an opinion. No, our opinions are scientifically informed. Um, and the critique should not be more than 100 words, so it's much easier to write. Um, so do not forget the critique part. Like most students actually, you know, uh, forget the critique part. So add both of those together, right? The first paragraph of the overall summary is the, um, the overview component, the through 100 word, and then the next paragraph is your um, critique. And then, um, The other part is actually going to be questions, right? Once you read the paper, you might have your own questions, right? That are that, that actually provokes thoughtful discussion, thoughtful conversation. So write the, you know, send me two of those questions, right? So this the overall um, summary you submit has three components: the actual recap, the critique, and two questions, right? Um, and basically doing all of this, you know, um, will actually help you to prepare very well for the discussion, right? And the articles I've picked are really fun, right? I, I spent a lot of time picking the best articles that is related to our course, right? And that will help you to understand some of the course materials better, right? And it's fun, trust me. And then uh, this part describes you actually how you are going to submit it. It should be submitted through blackboard i showed where you should be submitting it and i meant and here i mentioned about how much points you incur right and um and i talked already to you about the point distribution for all the discussions um for, for all the summaries right and in terms of the what is the most important part that i want to highlight is the active participation in the discussion right so that carries a lot of weight Right, about six percent of your total grade. That's that's actually how you you know that's a decision between getting an a B versus A between B versus C, right? And for example, when I am if I am if I have to um, curve up, right? When I have to round up your grades, right? If I see you in a hanging on a higher B, right, or a higher C, but you were very actively engaged in discussions, I am not going to hesitate to um, roll you up, right, and and avoid you, you know, if you are on an upper B an A, A minus, or if you're on an upper C to give you a B minus, I wouldn't hesitate if you actively partake in discussion, right? So your engagement in these discussions goes a long way than earning that six percentage points, right? It's a, it's a lot more than that. Um, so that active participation is strongly expected and I will, def and if you don't participate actively, you are losing points, right? And, and you are losing points needlessly. Um, what else? So, um, and so during the discussion, please do answer the questions I raise, right? That's how this is going to happen when you come prepared, right? On the day of that particular discussion, A, make sure, like, uh, ahead of the time, log on, right? Don't wait until 8 a.m. to log on, right? You know, it'll take time for your computer boot up, right? So be prepared early. Um, um, at least, you know, be there, be in um, Microsoft Teams five minutes ahead of the time, right? And I will also uh, keep track of your lateness and that will not help you to do very well, right? So be on time. It's just four days a week. Be on time. Log on on time, right? Log, log on ahead of the time. And at 8 a.m., we will start the discussion, right? On the discussion day, I will post and share my screen uh, or post questions on Blackboard and share my screen with you guys so you can see each question. I will post one question at a time and give you a couple of minutes to think about the question and formulate your answer in your head and then share your answer with the rest of the class. And believe me, for some of those questions I'm going to post, there will be more than one correct answer. Okay? Um, 
So I will actually let everyone in the classroom to take a step back the question. We don't have a huge class, right? We have less than um, 20. I think it's somewhere around 15. So very small class size. So we are also going to have a great time because of that, right? So I uh, strongly encourage that active participation, that active engagement. Um, and so when you answer a particular question, I'm going to first let, you know, students take their steps, you know, and share all of the answers. And then I will collectively provide you the correct answer, right? Um, kind of synthesize your answers, you know, correct if you are wrong, right? And then, um, and then what you can do is you can take notes as I, you know, synthesize that answer. Because what we discuss during the discussion session will go into an exam go into your each of the exams, right? So do take detailed notes and pay attention during the discussion. And um, what I will not tolerate, guys, is actually distractive behavior, right? Um, this is virtual, does not mean you can do whatever you want, right? You need to be engaging, not take part in any other activities, right? And um, so any, um, distractive behavior, any unprofessional behavior will not be tolerated. So this is actually um, virtual, right? So I control um, teams, right? If, 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 I, uh, if any of you guys get anywhere close to distractive behavior, right? I, I will actually kick you out, right? For that particular session, and then you will lose points on that. So don't make me do that, right? And then how exactly I am grading your summary is over here. So when you write the summary, right, look over this rubric, right? Look, uh, read through this document first. And then once you write the summary, make sure you actually have checked all the points over here, right? And then you can hit submit, right? Um, and again, uh, when you submit through Blackboard, I allow you to submit more than once. Um, for example, students make mistake. Oh, a professor has submitted the wrong thing. That happens, right? So if that happens, no worries, go back and submit, resubmit it, right? It is uh, programmed, Blackboard is programmed to accept as many submissions as uh, you want, right? Um, so remember, the discussion, the, the summaries, right, are due day before the discussion, okay? Not day of the discussion, right? They are due day before the discussion. Keep that in your mind. Um, Now, the last part over here is actually, you know, I'm not going to go over this. This is this tells you what I expect in active participation and active engagement, right? As you can see, it's pretty easy to earn an A, right? It's to be engaging, to be genuine, right? To actually um, uh, be professional, right? To be a great student. Like, it's not that hard, right? So I just read over what I expect in terms of active participation, right, on your own. So do read this do read this assignment prompt, do read the syllabus carefully, right? And do go over the blackboard. Um, so take this week to go over and be familiar with the entire course assignments, right? And the overall course structure. Make sure that you um, fulfill all the technology requirements, right? Um, and so that's a lot of prep work for this week. And I will... Um, keep working. I will upload you the next lecture uh, by, the end, uh, by the beginning of the next week. And if you have any questions, do email me um, or drop in for one of the virtual office hours. Mm, I think that's it. I'm not forgetting anything. If I do, I will shoot that through an email, right? Well, guys, good luck with your rest of the uh, semester. Good luck on the first day. All right. Bye-bye.